Hi, uh, David Moore with USA Today. Could both players respond to this? The, the seedings uh, raised a few eyebrows when your when your seed was announced. Uh, do you, are you guys using that as motivation to, uh, in the in this game? And how did you feel about the the unexpected low seed? EJ, you can go first. I don't really think we even thought about it. Uh, we were just so happy we, we made it. Um, we didn't feel like positions uh, don't mean that much to us. So uh, we're just so happy we made it, get the opportunity to play. And uh, we're, just, we're just so happy about the opportunity. We don't really care about the position. Arsalan? I mean, we didn't care about who, who we're going to play. There are 64 teams out there. They're all really good. And Oklahoma State is going to be a really good team. We just got to go out there and face and give everything out there. Yes, sir. Second row. Uh, Josh Dubow from Associated Press. Uh, for both of you guys, just how different is this team when you have Dominic back in the lineup, and how much better are you with him? Um, obviously, Dominic's a big part of our team. Uh, you, you could see that uh, in the beginning of the year. But um, being out eight weeks, obviously, it's going to take some time for him to get back to where he was. Um, and I think he's getting get, get better each and every week, each and every day. So uh, you'll see steady improvement um, with Dominic, but he's, he's just going to help us with just another point guard. We just have another point guard to handle the ball um, and help out John. So uh, he's going to help, he, we're, and we're really going to need him uh, in this tournament. Yes, sir. Bob Barry, NBC Oklahoma City for both you guys, and EJ, if you'd start. Uh, can you compare Oklahoma State to anybody you guys have played in the Pac-12? And even if you can, could you tell me what jumps out at you on tape when you see them play? Well, we really haven't watched that much tape um, on them yet. So uh, we're going to do a lot of that today. But just from going over some of their plays, uh, they run a lot of plays like Cal, California. Um, and we've seen a lot, of this, a lot of the plays that they have run. But... Um, Actually, watching film on them, we haven't seen a lot, so I can't really say that much. But um, play-wise, they, they run a lot of sets like California. So, Arsenal. I mean, uh, watching film on them, they're, first of all, they're a really athletic team. And as EJ said, they run a lot of uh, stuff uh, similar to California. And, I mean, that's about it. That, we, we don't know much about them yet. Let's go to the fourth row on the left. Anthony Slater, Oklahoma. And, uh, for both of you, you guys have had turnover problems at times this year. In, in the games that you've had those problems, what's been the biggest issue? Uh, just, yeah, you're right. Turnovers have been a big problem this year for us. Uh, I think it's just being careless with the ball um, and, and maybe trying to force some stuff. Uh, we just got to be, uh, you know, be strong with the ball, make plays for each other. And throughout the year, when, uh, when we did that, made plays for each other and just make simple plays, we're really, really good. So uh, that's, a big, that's a big focus for us uh, in this tournament is limiting our turnovers and just being strong with the ball. One other issue is, I think, excitement. As you see the, on the uh, championship game, I think we started the game and we were, we were really excited. And that caused a lot of turnovers for us. So we just have to be under control. Let's go to the third row. Jake Zivin, Kazia, and Eugene. You just mentioned the excitement, Arsalan. Um, so for both of you guys, how do you temper that uh, and stay composed being in the NCAA tournament for the first time? Obviously, I imagine there is going to be a lot of excitement tomorrow when, when the game starts. Yeah, definitely. There's going to be a lot of excitement. Um, this is uh, the first time for a lot of us. but. Uh, uh, you know, w once the game hits, we just got to realize that it's just another game and just play it, play like it. Um, you know, we we played so good in the tournament, um, in the Pac-12 tournament. We just it's it's going to be the same thing. So we just got to realize it's just another game and go out there and play our best. Arsenal. I agree with EJ. We just got to go out there and play like we played in a tournament. I think and take that that will take the pressure off a little bit. Stay on the third row. Bob Clark from the Register Guard. Arslan, you, you talked earlier in the season about fans back at your home starting to follow in C2A more with you playing and UCLA a little bit. Much reaction this week, or what are you hearing you know, from family, family and friends? Yes, I mean, my mom I, w was watching the uh, championship game on ESPN. She, we, we have ESPN back home, and 
uh, well, a lot of people started following, and especially when we won the championship game, I think it was a big picture of the Oregon Ducks in the newspaper back home, so they were following it. Follow-up question? Sure. When you played in Los Angeles, you had a lot of people turn out to see you. said there was a big community down there that had connections to Miranda. Much here in the Bay Area, do you expect it, or do you know many people? Um, well, generally, I know that there are a lot of Iranians that they live in like Los Angeles area, but uh, I don't know anyone here, so I'm not sure. They might come and show up, but I'm not aware of that. For sure. Yeah, for EJ, two things. Uh, one, how much does uh, Marcus Smart jump out at, at, on the film when you're watching? What, what sort of talent do you think he is? And the other thing, back to the seeding thing a little bit, was the other Pac-12 teams were uh, got pretty rough draws too, and the regular season champ was sent out of the area, number six seed. Do you think that the, that there's still a, a, a negative uh, perception about uh, Pac-12 basketball? Um, to answer your first question about Marcus Smart, um, obviously he's an unbelievable talent. Um, you know, he has great size as a point guard, and. Uh, you know that I think that's where um, you know he's a matchup problem just uh, just on how big he is and how strong he is. Uh, but um, definitely we're gonna have to get after him. Uh, I think Johnny and uh, Da uh, will match up with him good. I think uh, they can pressure him um, uh, out on the floor and you know make him think make him do things he hasn't done all season. So. Um, I'm, I have confidence in our point guards going up against him. And uh, to answer your second question about you know, the Pac-12, um, I don't know. Uh, I, th I think uh, the Pac-12 had a really good uh, year this year, but um, you know, uh, I'm not sure how we d stacked up against other conferences um, in, in the preseason. But um, the, all, all that matters is how we do uh, right now in the tournament, so we have the opportunity to make a name for ourselves and for our conference uh, in the tournament, and uh, that's what we should do. We have time for two more questions. Fourth row, third row. Jake Zivin, KZI. EJ, you've been uh, with this program through the coaching change and then the CBI and the NIT. Now you're here in San Jose. Have you taken time to think about the journey and what it means to be here in, in the NCAA tournament? Um, I've, I've taken a little bit of time. I'm sure once everything's done, um, you know, I'll look back at it and realize, uh, you know, the journey and the accomplishments. But um, uh, right now, I'm just, we're just focused on, uh, you know, Oklahoma State right now and trying to get the win. Um, you know, we've we've uh, just winning the Pac-12 tournament uh, feels really good, but we feel like uh, you know we still got a lot more to accomplish. Uh, we're just excited. We get the opportunity to play, and uh, we can't wait for Thursday. Time for one more question, if there is one. Yes, sir. Bob Barry, NBC, Oklahoma City. Can you guys talk about your size advantage, what it appears anyway, across the front line, our salon, uh, playing Oklahoma State? Uh, I mean, we understand that they start, uh, the, their starting lineup is, they, they have a good size, but then when they take their big man out and they go small a little bit, we're gonna have a size advantage. But I mean, they're a good team. They're gonna play four out, one in. And I mean, we got a size advantage, but they, they got the size advantage on the offense because that, that way our power forward has to go out there and guard their probably three guard. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a problem for us. But I mean, that, we, we're going to work on it, and it's going to be good. EJ, can you yeah, EJ, go ahead. Oh, um, uh, like Arshlon said, uh, um, when they go small, um, I, I don't really have, I don't see really playing that big of a part on being having met um, mismatches mismatches because we do the same thing um, you know Arsalan can play the five I can play the four uh, Ben coming off the bench can play the four so uh, we can go small too so I don't see um, I don't see it as a problem I think uh, when they go small we can go small too okay thanks so much for to 